क्वेश्चन नंबर 145 dy by dx is equal to 2x minus y plus 1 by x plus 2y minus 3 so this is the given equation let's call it equation 1 this equation 1 is not a homogeneous equation we have to convert it to a homogeneous form and then solve it from there so to apply the substitution and find a solution and to, and to convert it into a homogeneous form first we have to check whether the ratio of the coefficients of x in numerator and denominator is not equal to the ratio of the coefficients of y in numerator and denominator here it is 2 is to 1 and in for y it is minus 1 by 2 so they are not equal so we can use the substitution uh, the substitution for such cases, such questions are uh, small x is equal to capital X plus H and small y equal to capital Y plus K. Let's call it equation 2. Differentiating both sides, we get dx is equal to d capital X and dy equal to d capital Y. So we can say dy by dx is equal to d capital y by d capital x let's call this equation 3 now using 2 and 3 in 1 we have d capital y by d capital x is equal to 2 capital x minus capital y plus 2h minus k plus 1 by uh, capital X plus 2 capital Y plus H plus 2K minus 3. We just substituted X with X plus capital X plus H and uh, capital a small y with capital Y plus K. Then we will get this. Uh, let's call this equation 4. Okay. Uh, equation 4 is not a homogeneous form but if we choose H and K such that 2h minus k plus 1 is equal to 0 and h plus 2k minus 3 is equal to 0 then the this equation 4 uh, becomes a homogeneous form so we have to find h and k uh, which satisfies that condition which is 2h minus k plus 1 equal to 0 and h plus 2k minus 3 equal to 0 so we have two variables and two equations solving for h and k we have h by minus 1 into minus 3 which is 3 minus 2 into 1 by k by 1 into 1 1 minus minus 3 into 1 minus 6 minus 3 into 2 minus 6 so minus minus 6 plus 6 and 1 by we have 1 by 2 into 2 4 4 minus uh, 4 minus uh, minus 1 4 plus 1 okay. 4 minus minus 1 okay. 1 minus Minus six plus six h by three minus two. Okay, therefore we have h is equal to three minus two is minus one by four plus one is five. Uh, so k equal to six plus one is seven by four plus one is equal to minus one by five and seven by five. So let's call this equation five. So we know we got our h and k. Now we can write uh, from equation 2 we know that capital X is equal to small x minus h here plus 1 by 5. Similarly capital Y is equal to small y minus k becomes minus 7 by 5. So we got this equation from equation 2 only. From equation 2 capital X is equal to small x minus h similarly capital Y equal to small y minus k so we got our h and k value so we wrote this equation 
let's call this equation 6 we will be using equation 6 later in the solution so using the values of h and k we got in equation 5 in equation 4 we get it will become using 5 in 4 we have d y by d x is equal to 2 x minus y by uh, x plus 2y so now let's call this equation 7 equation 7 is a homogeneous equation since it can be written as a function of y by x if we divide numerator and denominator by capital x we get dy by dx is a function of y by x so it is a homogeneous equation mm. and for such equations we use the substitution y equal to dx let's call this 8 now differentiating 8 with respect to x we have d capital y by d capital x is equal to v plus x into dv by call it this equation 9 now using 8 and 9 in 7 we have v plus x dv by dx is equal to 2x minus vx by x plus 2vx so cancelling x from numerator and denominator and bringing v to the right hand side we have x dv by dx is equal to 2 minus v by 1 plus 2v minus v we have 2 minus v minus v minus v plus, uh, minus 2v square by 1 plus 2 simplifying we have uh, x dv by dx equal to 2 minus 2v minus 2v square by 1 plus 2. So rearranging and taking minus 2 from the numerator we have. So this is a, a form where we can use the method of separation of variables. We can bring all the terms of v to one side and x to the other. So we can write if you take 2 outside so we have 1 uh, v square plus v minus 2 by 1 plus 2 v so instead we multiply by minus 1 by 2 on both side we have we will get that sorry this is not the right form it becomes reverse right 1 plus 2 v v by v square plus v minus 1 dv is equal to so we took uh, we if we take minus 1 by 2 um, on both side we have minus 1 by 2 d capital x by x okay so if you notice the differential uh, we can integrate both sides integrating both sides we have integral 1 plus 2v by v square plus v minus 1 uh, dv is equal to minus 1 by 2 integral dx by x plus a constant. Now if you observe the differential of denominator is 2v plus 1 which is there in the numerator. So we can write this integral the solution for this integral as uh, lo log v square plus v minus 1 equal to minus 1 by 2 integral of this is log x plus c so if we uh, we can so
One second. Okay, now uh, multiplying throughout by two and bringing minus one by two log x to the LHS, we have uh, log v square plus v minus one uh, two log plus log x equal to a constant. Now using the logarithm properties, we have log v square plus v minus one the whole square into right Okay, there is a small mistake here. So if we multiply both sides by minus one by two, we will have minus one by two and minus one by two here. So when we take this to the other side, we will have minus two instead of minus one by two. So this whole thing was minus one by two. That was minus two. So it was minus two, minus two. If we take two to the other side, it becomes minus two dx by x. That was take from this. We have minus two. So we don't have to multiply throughout by two, minus one by two. We just take log x to the other. Uh, so minus two log x become when uh, brought to this side, it, it becomes log x square. Now log a plus log b becomes log a into log b x square equal to c a constant. Now if you take here e power on both sides, we have uh, v square plus v minus 1 into x square is equal to a constant. Now from equation 8 we know that v equal to y by x. So using 8 using 8 using 8 we have y square y square by x square minus y by x sorry plus y by x minus 1 into so simplifying we have y square plus uh, we take y x minus x square y x square into x square uh, okay, here it is C1 where C1 equal to E raised to C. Another constant. So x square and x square get cancelled here. So this become y square plus y x minus x square equal to C1. Now we have y from equation 6 we have equation 6 we have capital X is equal to x plus 1 by 5 or 5x uh, plus 1 by 5 here y minus 7 by 5 or 5y minus 7 by 5 so 5x plus 1 by 5 and 5x so I am just substituting uh, y equal to uh, so sorry capital Y equal to just writing down the equation here okay, y equal to y minus 7 by 5 right capital X y minus 7 by 5 and capital X is equal to x plus 1 by 5 
so i'm just writing down that equation 6 uh, x plus uh, from okay substitution i using from using 6 our substitution becomes uh, y y minus 7 uh, the whole square plus uh, plus five mm, x uh, sorry y x which is five y minus seven into um five x plus one I both have five square minus x square five x plus one five x plus one uh, the whole square by five square equal to c one so if we multiply throughout by five square we have further simplify it as five y minus seven whole square five y minus seven into five x plus one minus 5x plus 1 the whole square is equal to another constant where uh, where c2 is uh, where c2 is equal to ic uh, 25c another constant so we have this 5y minus 7 the whole square plus 5x minus 1 into okay make okay i made a mistake here 3 minus 2 was 1 by 5 so this is plus 1 by 5 so this becomes x minus 1 by 5 x minus 1 by 5 so our last equation last equation instead of 5 5x plus 1 it becomes 5x minus 1 the answer the answer Five x minus one. Even here, it is x. So this is the final answer. Uh, two mistakes were made in the solution when I was trying to solve the question. Sorry for that. So these are the final steps. So this is the solution to question 145.